Hi everybody, welcome to another edition of Sama, Seattle Circuit Music. Your host, thanks for being here. Ah, let's take a deep breath, shall we? I've been doing some guided meditation on uh, Simple Habits app, it's been quite nice. Um, it's a difficult time and continues to be a difficult time. We had learned a while ago, if you read the press, real press, you know, not fake press, real press, that um, um, pandemics are cyclical and we're in another cycle. Uh, plans that have been made have been canceled. My heart goes out to my dear friends at APAP and Global Fest who just had to cancel their live um, uh, in-person um, event that was gonna be happening on January 16th, 2022. I was planning to attend and I was planning to record a bunch of great artists and share them with you on Sama and also share them with you on KEXP on my show Wopop as I do with all of the Sama sessions that I can. Um, today, first off, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're safe. I hope that you've been vaccinated. I hope if you can, you got a booster and I hope you're wearing a mask. This is nothing to fuck with. This is crazy. I have so many dear friends who have been sick are sick right now. My heart goes out to everybody. Please take care of yourself. Uh, if you're tuning in for the first time, this is Sama, Seal Circuit Music and Art. Uh, we're focusing on the healing power of global sacred music in all of its forms. And it's an honor and a pleasure to share some of these with you. Uh, tonight, I have the Brazilian guitarist, social activist, amazing singer, producer, Lucas Santana. I recorded this session at Womex feels like an ages, ages ago, and Porto, Portugal. Uh, he's fabulous, uh, absolutely fabulous. You'll see with this performance and my interview with him, and also uh, my dear friend Sean was part of the interview from Afropop Worldwide. Their podcast uh, just went out of Womex. I'll put a link and all of this more uh, throughout this entire session. But Lucas Santana, originally from Salvador Bahia, now living in Sao Paulo. He is a musical reaction to Bolsonaro regime, to the right-wing regime in Brazil right now, uh, very active in the indigenous and shamanic movements uh, to try to create a sense of balance um, in, uh, in the world and especially in Brazil. I'll get to it right now. And if you wanna add any comments or anything like that, please do so. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please follow us on Facebook. Please follow us on Twitch. We're here for you. We do this every single week with great artists from all over the world every single week. We update constantly and uh, we're here specifically to celebrate um, our diversity and to champion our shared humanity and to get people to open up their hearts and hopefully live in a, a better place and in a better world. So check this out. Lucas Santana at Womex in Porto beautiful music to share with you. Uh, I'm Lucas Santana from Salvador, Bahia, Brazil. And uh, I had a, a meet with the music when I was uh, 12 years old and this changed completely my life and uh, I understood that uh, I had a mission and uh, I would dedicate all my life to the music and, and it's what I do. Let's do it. <laughs> Ele beija ela, ela beija ele. Ele beija ela, ela beija ele. Ele beija ela, ela beija ele. Ela beija ele. 
Vai se rolar um clima, ele beija, ele ela beija, ela para eles. O amor é livre, ela não é gay, ele não é viado e não são mais classificados. Não somos mais classificados, não somos mais classificados. Ele beija ela, ela beija ele. Pram bam bam, bam bim 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 bam. Ele beija ela, ela beija ele. Pram bam bam, bam bim 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 bam. Ele beija ela, ela beija ele. Mas se rolar um clima, ele beija ele, ela beija ela. Para eles o amor é livre. Ela não é gay, ele não é viado e não são mais classificados. Não somos mais classificados. Não somos mais classificados. É play som, play som. É déjà vu. Lucas Santana agradece, merci beaucoup. Ela não é piriguete, não fica de frente. Não é marionete, não fica de frente. Tem que ter a mão na manha, tem que ter a mão na mão. Se não for a mão na manha, se não for apanha, não somos mais classificados. Play som, play som, play som. Aperta o rec, amassa pagodão que gruda mais que gi. Então escute bi, hoje não tem cani, é serpentine com com. Com é serpentine com 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 é serpentine com 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 é play som play som não somos mais classificados play som ela não é gay ele não é viado e não são mais classificados Brasil Patriota, só na hora do gol. Brasil, patriota, só na hora do show. Mas quando a lama avança, a pátria não é tão gentil. O Supremo rasga a carta, clava a mata no povo. Que a natureza se rebele, selvagem cobra a terra. Tome tudo de volta e sobe só as plantas e o canto dos pássaros e sobe só a seiva e o canto dos pássaros e sobe só o orvalho e o canto dos pássaros e sobe só o pólen e o leito dos rios. Brasil patriota só na hora do gol. Brasil patriota só na hora do show. Mas quando a fome no mapa é longe de onde se come aqui, o herói cobrado calo berço finge que não viu que a natureza se repele. Selvagem cubra a terra, tome tudo de volta e sobre só as plantas e o canto dos pássaros e sobre só a seiva e o canto dos pássaros e sobre só o orvalho e o canto dos pássaros e sobre só o pólen e o leito dos rios. Em todo ser vive a serpente, semente cósmica fecundou. Terras e povos até o Ocidente resiste o DNA. Na sua natureza, 
na sua natureza Resiste o DNA, resiste o DNA, resiste o DNA Na sua natureza Obrigado. Obrigado. Thank you. What are the names of the songs you just played, and what are what are they about? The last one is Brasil Patriota. It's uh, it's from the last album. O céu é velho há muito tempo. And in talk, uh, um, I, I I use the, some um, parts of the lyrics of the the national anthem, Brazilian national anthem, but change the the meaning. And also, there is an image uh, that, that talks about uh, a revenge from the nature, from the nature uh, take the planet for them and put us out. Because, you know, we are not doing good things here. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. And the first one? The first one uh, called the uh, Funk dos Bromânticos. Uh, Bromânticos is, uh, in English, is Bromantic. It's, uh, it's two words, uh, brother and Bromantic. And it's a new, um, it's from the Urban Dictionary. Uh, means uh, a new kind of love, uh, a new kind of uh, relationship uh, uh, based on, 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 on um, um, feelings, not like a boyfriend or married or something like that, and, and not just be between uh, a man and a woman. So the the song talk about uh, free love uh, from the new generations. That uh, it's binary. It's the the way to 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 like another people. It's it's free. It's not uh, like in the past. Uh, uh, just a man and a woman could be a man and a man, a woman and a woman, trans and a cis, etc. It's a, it's a song to this generation. It's about free love. Mm -hmm. I'm together. Mm -hmm. And who are some of your musical heroes in Brazil? Oh, now the number one called Ailton Krenak. It's an activist and an and a indigenous um, leader that uh, wrote a, a small but strong book called uh, The Idea to, to Retard, how say that in English? Uh, an idea to, to retard the end of the world. So uh, he, he talks about uh, the way that the Occidental um, staff chooses to, to live and how it's uh, there's a lot of shit in this way so he is trying to show us the indigenous way and and the values of that mm -hmm. so t say his name again Ayuton Krenak what was it like growing up in Salvador Salvador has such a strong force uh, in everyone in the world who appreciates um, Brazil, African culture, around the world, and so on. But what was it like growing up in Salvador for you? Wow, it's a luck for me because uh, Salvador is a, it's a, it's a unique uh, city in the world for sure. Um, uh, it's the, the most uh, black population uh, out of Africa. Like 80% uh, of the population in my city is black people, so it's, it's super luck. And I remember that when I was a teenager, I was sad because I, I, I was not black, I, I'm white. <laughs> and because the, 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 the culture in my seat comes from the, the black community and is so strong on the streets. And, uh, and, and for me, it was so important in my, my musical formation. And, um, and also uh, in the university, uh, uh, in the 60s, it was a movement, uh, uh, the, the, 
the administration of the university invite a lot of European teachers to to teach in, in Salvador in the university, and in the University of Music um, came uh, uh, guys that uh, is, is studied with Kohoite uh, um, uh, in, uh, in 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 the mentality mentality. It's uh, experimental music. It's experiment things with the music. So I, I had in my when I was a, a, a teenager, I had a, a black culture from the streets and uh, experimental music from the university. So for me, it was a blast. And you know, uh, because the the black uh, heritage 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 heritage. Uh, the food in, in Salvador is unique, and uh, the clothes, the, the culture is it's unique. Just happened there, so I'm lucky. Uh, the born there. <laughs> yeah, I'm solo on stage because my my last album it's uh, just acoustic guitar and voice. Ah. It's a old tradition in Brazilian music. Mm -hmm. And um, but there's a guy on the sound desk putting effects. And in my acoustic electric guitar voice, so there's a little bit of sound design. But uh, basically, the, the the songs from the last album, and uh, it's an album that that I composed after the last election in Brazil, when uh, Brazilians elect a face as the president. And uh, I look around, and all my friends uh, were so sad. And and me also, so I I start to to compose these songs to 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 embrace them and uh, and encourage them because we we knew that we have a a dark uh, period in Brazil. You have a um, a beautiful guitar right now, well worn. It says this machine heals fascists. Tell me about that. And uh, I love uh, Bob Dylan, like uh, everybody. Mm -hmm. And from Bob Dylan, I discover uh, uh, this the folk singer called uh, Jesus. Are you? What do you got through? Yeah. And uh, and I saw in his guitar uh, this machine kills faces. I was like, wow, this is so nice. And I think, oh, are you putting my guitar also? Because <laughs> in this moment in Brazil, it's it's necessary. Yeah. Uh, but I think it will, but if I kill a guy, I'm a fast also, so let's change the, the verb. And because uh, I'm connected to the shamanism also, from the indigenous, and, and, and here is a, role, a word uh, really present in this in the shamanism, so I, I change it to heroes. Perfect. That's an interesting thing because <clears throat> I'm working on a, a new project right now called Sama, Seattle Sacred Music, and we're looking at the way indigenous cultures have lived in the world Ooh. for um, since we were, you know, started being humans, and what we can learn from them right now because we live in a very complicated time. Yeah. You know, like we got here in a day. It's yeah. amazing and all that. Tell me about this. Uh, uh, how are you working with? indigenous cultures indigenous in brazil which is very you know that's a, a living culture yeah um I, during the, the the pandemic i i made the soundtrack of a webby documentary series uh, by ayuton krenak it's a really important indigenous and and, and activist in brazil and uh, he and uh, anna dance from 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 the dance uh, Publishing, um, they created this project uh, called Flasha Arrow. Uh, so there's three Flasha arrows in the YouTube. Uh, everybody can can could uh, search and see. And, and, and coming from um, from a meeting like Womex, there's happened the last two years before COVID in Rio de Janeiro, called Selvagem. Uh, 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 studies uh, about life, and it, it's so nice because uh, uh, put together indigenous knowledge and with uh, biologists, anthropologists, sociologists, uh, etc. Uh, 
so it's a it's it's a myth to change the knowledge mm -hmm. from the west side and from the the indigenous side and uh, so it, it was really nice work in this project okay. and uh, and uh, I, I i i went uh, many times in in uh, in shamanism ceremonies in rio and sao paulo uh, i take ayahuasca with uh, indigenous uh, masters pages uh, so uh, I try to to be close to this country, to 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 study, to to know about his his knowledge. Okay. That it's so old. It changed you? Yeah, a lot. How? Oh. A lot. Um, first to. Uh, First, for example, I, I, I was living in the city of Sao Paulo mm -hmm. and I moved to, to a countryside two hours from Sao Paulo in a, in a place that just have uh, 20 houses in, a, in the nature around, mm -hmm. a lot of trees and birds and night uh, waterfalls. Uh, so uh, I'm more connected to the nature and understand that because I think that uh, the occidental uh, stuff uh, after the Illuminism think the nature as something uh, apart. Mm -hmm. So we are here, here is the civilization and you need to go to the forest to see the, the nature. Mm -hmm. But in fact the nature is inside of us because we are made by nitrogen, oxygen, uh, carbon, yeah. uh, water, everything that eats in the nature. So we are, we are the nature. We, we are not, a, no, a part of that. So um, and also they um, teached me to use a uh, rapé. It's a uh, dust. Dust. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and you, it's made by plants and mm -hmm. tobacco. And uh, it's really nice to to restart yourself and to put you uh, really present with yourself and if the things around. So uh, after take rapé, I, I can. Uh, this is more present. This okay. is more than you. Every everything is more present. It's you're aware. Yeah. So. A lot of things. No, this seems like a popular thing that could be. Yeah, that could more people could use yeah. right now. And it's so important because now with the the gadgets, the the digital life, you know, mm -hmm. we are all the time in, uh, in front of. Disconnected. Us. Yeah, so it's nice to connect with yourself yeah. and focus. It's really nice. It helps with creativity. Yeah, it's it's good also because you. You focus in you and things that you are doing, so you 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 close to the the thing that's not so important around. Mm -hmm. So it's good also to compose. Um, two questions. Okay. One is um, you've been playing music for a long time. Yes, since I was uh, twelve years old, okay. I started to play uh, German flute, and then uh, I changed to transversal flute. And so I started to play in a uh, young orchestra in Bahia, okay. uh, uh, classical music, just classical yeah. music. And then I, I, I stopped classical music and I start to, to play uh, popular music. When, when was the moment? Because we all start, you know, I want to play. When was it when it was like, when I okay, was, this, is, this yeah, is the thing? When I was uh, 19, 20 years old, uh, because class, I love classical music. I love, I, I listen. Uh, every day, I, li I love. But uh, to play classical music is is too serious. You need to play perfect. Mm -hmm. it's something that when I you play, I I I hadn't a pleasure to play. It's like oh, I need to play really nice. I need to... So, and when I start to play popular music, feel, wow, this is nice because I I really enjoy the the sounds, the music. Mm -hmm. So when I was 20 years old, I said, no, I will stop uh, classical music, I, I start to play. And I play, 
a long time with Gilberto Gil in his blend, flute and saxophone. And, um, and then I, I need, needed to, to start my, my stuff, okay. my ideas, etc. Stuff was coming up. Yeah. Okay. Second question. Okay. Um, we're in the States. Um, and we've had a difficult six years. You know, we had a, a presidency and COVID. Brazil, similar situation. Yeah. Difficult. Um, you were talking about this before. It was like there was election. Your friends were sad. But there were people in Brazil that weren't sad. They, they elected somebody. Same in my country. You elected somebody. Yeah. Why do you think they elected who they elected? Um, in Brazil, there's a book uh, from a journalist called Patricia Mello. And uh, she proved that was uh, um, a lot of, uh, how say that, uh, companies, um, companies uh, influence did money to to the Bolsonaro, and and they send a WhatsApp message, a massive WhatsApp message during the elections. And this is proved, and for sure, this is, it, it was determined to, to Bolsonaro elections. But the, the judiciary in Brazil, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's not so serious because uh, by the law, the, the last election in Brazil, it was, uh, I'll say that, it was a lie. It, it, wa it was outside of the law. Okay. Uh, but uh, I think that the media in Brazil, the big media in Brazil, the big companies uh, are from, uh, from the, the right wing also during the, the history of Brazil. And, and, and there was a a massive uh, uh, campaign against Works Party and against Lula. Okay. For example, Lula, it, it was to the jail, yeah. but there is no proofs. So it's, it's strange, you know? It's, it's a movement with a judiciary and media to, to change things, but not by the law, okay. but no by the democracy. Has this changed you? Are you a political artist now? Or is everybody a political artist in Brazil? Hmm? Are you a political? Yeah. You? Yeah, yeah, I'm political all the time because my family, it's, it's the, the political stuff, it's so important, so every... What, what do you want to see happen? Like, let's say, Lula come back, or what would you see, what yeah, would you like to see? For sure, for me, Lula, you come back. Um, but isn't that... You know, it's kind of like, that's the past. Isn't there time for somebody to come in and... Yeah. I would like that, uh, that appear a new leader mm -hmm. from uh, left wing. But the fact is, now Lula is live, you know? And in Lula, it's, for me, it's one of the the 10 most important uh, leaders in the world in the, in the 20th and 21st uh, century. You know? okay. uh, he's, he's was, uh, this is not my opinion, this is the history. He was the first and only president in Brazil that made things to the poor people. You know, so if this guy is live in his power, what not again? All right, I can see that. Yeah, but for me, the problem with Lula will be that he will need to do alliance, 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 alliance with the same guys that, that destroy yeah. his government in the past. This is the big challenge for yeah. him now. So it's interesting because you play a particular type of music that not many people speak Portuguese, but just about everybody I know loves Brazilian music. 
and looks to Brazilian music. Yeah. So you have an interesting role where this music, just as it did in the past with Gilberto Gil and Kitana Peloso, yeah. um, could be a beacon of hope and yeah. because you love the music and the music somehow just opens up people's hearts. You know, yeah. It's interesting, everywhere you go in the world, yeah. there's something going on. So it's an interesting place for you as somebody playing here, playing Brazilian music, and yet having these experiences, it's an interesting mix where you could then share this music in the world. There are a lot of artists here that don't have the kind of power that or yeah. the kind of influence that Brazilian music has. We're literally, I travel all over the world, there's Brazilian music all over the world. There's, yeah. you know, Korean music isn't all over the world. Malayan yeah. music, it's Brazilian music is all over the yeah. world. For, for us, for us uh, artists from Brazil, we, we have a con conscience that we are a, a kind of an ambassador. Mm -hmm. ambassador. So, uh, and now, particularly now, with Bolsonaro, uh, our presence around the world is very important to, yeah. to bring the message. You're countering. Yeah, and because in, in countries like France, for example, the, the extreme du the extreme right wing, it's, it's strong and it's trying to get the power. Yeah. And, and it, it's a country that there's a, a long tradition of uh, social security mm -hmm. for people. And, but now you have a internet, <laughs> now you have fake news. It's an industry. Fake news is an industry. Yeah. Uh, that it's a lot of money involved. It's not just uh, lies. Yeah. Yeah. So this is, it's, it's hard to, to, to fight against these invisible yeah. people. But music is also powerful and yeah, invisible sure. all at the that. same time. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right, there you have it. Lucas Santana from Sao Paulo, Salvador de Bahia. Uh, a great conversation about music, the power of music, and all the things that can happen when you have intention and hope. Uh, I'm Derek Mazzoni. If you're just tuning in, I want to have a couple of quick shout outs. First of all, I want to let you know that next week at 8 o'clock, I've got Humayun Saki and Salar Nader, a tabla player, an amazing Afghani ruba player who performed live uh, a few weeks ago at uh, Town Hall in Seattle, who is um, who was partnering with us on the Global Rhythms uh, series. So we're going to be having a few more of these amazing artists from all over the world that um, hopefully will be coming here and then we'll be able to present them on our live stream channels. I also want to thank Pedro Cruz, um, Adele Boyer, and uh, David Gomez, who helped with our production in Porto, hire them. If you need uh, a great producers and shooters and filming, film camera people and, uh, and audio people in Porto, I want to thank my co-founder, John Goodfellow. I want to thank Christine, Dagmara, Matt, and Scott, Isaac, and uh, Mora, uh, Mariah from uh, We Are Brother and Sister Seattle Theater Group, who we work with all the time, and End Live Molly. Uh, we are going to be doing this weekly, obviously, and adding a few more. Uh, of these types of experiences, live streams, bringing artists from all over the world to you on, uh, on Sama, Seattle Circuit Music and Art. Be well. It's the holiday season. Take care of yourselves. Wear a mask, as I said before, and uh, take care of each other, hug each other, and keep your spirits up. Okay, peace, love. Bye.